whenever something excites you mm -hmm. and scares you a little bit, know that at first you're going to have wobbly legs, but ultimately we all acclimate, right? Yeah, I, I call it contraction before expansion. Mm. So, you know, the, the example that I always think of is, you know how if you're a kid and you're like excited all week to go to this party and you're like, oh, and the parents are like, oh, she's so excited or he's so excited. And then they take you to the party and you're like this mm -hmm. against <laughs> the wall. And they're like, come on, you uh -huh. wanted to, you know, we, we kind of, you know, <laughs> which we all, right? But we all do it. And, and, I, and I, I think it's twofold. Like I, I do think it's our, our own personality or fear, or for me sometimes it's being willing to go, in, in the work I do, it's being willing to uh, become a bit more extrovert. And it's like the tantrum my introvert's having, mm, that I'm right. gonna you know, go and do a thing right. with a load of people. But Cameras actually I think audience. it's, yeah, I think <laughs> it's the energy. So for example, even with something like this, you know, coming here this afternoon, I was quietly at home. It was all kind of like introverty, and I was like, oh, oh, uh, you know. <laughs> but, 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 but I, <laughs> but I now know. I now know enough about that reaction. It's like, oh, well, this will probably be good, and and it means something expansive is going to happen with these people and in this room. And so it's it's the part of us that goes like this before we go like this. Mm -hmm. And I wish someone had nailed that principle for me 10 or 12 years ago when I was doing this kind of work. Because if I'd have just had that in my head back then, I would have saved myself a lot of torment. That's why I wanted to point it out right now, because I feel like it's such an important piece. A lot of times people will approach and feel that piece and say, oh, yep, this isn't for me. Yeah. You know, and they don't push through that, uh, that growth edge. And for me, I, I visualized it. It came to me recently as a, a visualization of what happens on, when you're on the beach. You know, you see the tide, it pulls back, and mm. it's like retraction, retraction, and then all of a sudden, here comes mm. all the water again. And when you start to understand that energy flows in that way, yeah. you can sort of know what you're dealing with. Yeah, I don't think fear <clears throat> is the problem. I think our inability to manage our fear is mm. the problem.